is Lydia and I'm really glad that you all can be here for our first online art class. Um, so this week we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo, which you know really isn't celebrated too much in Mexico, but here in the United States it is a very special day where we celebrate Mexican-American heritage, culture, and people. Um, so that means things like festivals and parades, uh, food, music, and dance. Uh, this year, unfortunately, we all can't gather for those uh, sort of festivals, but we are inviting you and your family to celebrate at home. Um, so music has always been a very important part of many cultures, and Mexico is just the same. In Mexico, they have a style of music called mariachi, which came from western Mexico. It started with instruments like drums and flutes and rattles, uh, later guitars and violins and trumpets were added to bring us the sound that we're familiar with now. So people have always had a desire to make music. Um, even before there were stores to purchase music at, people often used items that were right around them to make instruments. So maybe wood or clay or even plastic or metal that they find um, in their neighborhoods. Um, so take a look at this orchestra of recycled instruments from Paraguay. One person's treasure is another's violin in this slum built on a landfill in Paraguay. Here in Asuncion, a group of young musicians come together to play everything from Beethoven and Mozart to Frank Sinatra and the Beatles on instruments made entirely from trash. The Orchestra of Recycled Instruments from Katera got its start here five years ago when a teacher, Fabio Chavez, decided to teach kids living near this garbage dump how to play musical instruments. Lacking money to buy enough instruments, he recruited the help of residents who make a living picking through and recycling trash. Soon, with the community's help, Chavez and his students had their instruments, all made from recycled materials from the dump. They include guitars made from cans, cellos from metal drums and brass instruments, like 18-year-old Andre Rivera's saxophone made from house gutters. So we would like to see what unused materials you have around your home that you can make instruments from. So these could be instruments that we're all familiar with, or they could be totally new instruments that nobody has seen or heard before. Um, so I have a few examples here that I've made out of items around my house. This is a drum made out of a peanuts container, some old fabric, and rubber bands. I have uh, this guitar made out of just an old box. I have some scrap pieces of cardboard to make a bridge here, which helps with the sound resonation, um, and some just rubber bands here strung across. Um, I also have a maraca that I made out of some leftover Easter eggs. I have popcorn kernels inside of here. You could even use beans or lentils or rice. And then some plastic spoons for a handle. And you can even make it without a handle here. Looks just the same. I have a rain stick made out of a piece of cardboard that came in my aluminum foil. I have some screws and nails poked into here, and some popcorn kernels inside here, taped off at the end, so when those kernels fall through, they hit the nails and create this soothing sound here. Um, so I have some other materials that I would recommend using. You could come up with plenty of your own also. Um, I have tape a pair of scissors and a sharpie or a pencil would come in handy. Um, some glue also. If you have an option to use glue instead of tape, I'd recommend that because it's a lot less waste. Um, some other items here are containers from the recycling bin, um, some cardboard scraps, boxes, toilet paper rolls. I even have some wood here which in themselves Makes an instrument just like that, easy. Some uh, dried noodles. And here's my corn kernels, again like lentils and beans would work. Rubber bands, leftover wire. These odds and ends from uh, furniture that we've never used around the house. Some bottle caps, different types. Um, here's my Easter eggs. I have some yarn here, and even bobby pins that I thought could maybe be used for an instrument. 
Um, and these are aluminum foil containers, which again, make a pretty cool instrument just on their own with some sticks from outside. Um, also, if you have paint or markers at home, I encourage you to add color and pattern to your instruments. Um, check out this artist, Jose Elazar Castro Razo. Um, he uses cardboard and found materials to make these toys that actually move. Um, and here he is celebrating the mariachi music and musicians from Mexico. Uh, also notice his bold colors and patterns. These are typical of Mexican folk art. Uh, so the link below has uh, plenty more ideas. Check them out. I think there's about 20 different ideas that will get your brain churning. Um, and of course, come up with your own. We'd love to see what you have. And join us this Friday, May 8th at 4 p.m. on Zoom, where we're all going to get together and share our creations and a little bit of music. See ya.